Jamesy, bow, 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 2020, 2024. Yeah, yeah. Y'all hear that? Yeah, y'all hear that? Yeah. Well, clap your hands then. If you want to see McClinton for president, clap your hands then. That's what you got to do if you want to see him for president. That's not even what he's running for. Oh, my Jesus. It's running for sheriff. Wow. Anyway, James McClinton, Pinellas County Sheriff, Florida. Pinellas County, Florida, 2024. If you don't vote for him, Pinellas, you are your own worst enemy. The reason I am talking about James McClinnis and the fact that he's running in 2024 for Pinellas County Sheriff is because on this day, in this video, he went to Punta Gorda City Commission or Council meeting, whatever, and he gave a beautiful speech about the First Amendment. They didn't like it because usually people in power don't like free speech because then their flaws could be pointed out. Well, he points out their flaws, compares them to Putin, puts them in their place, and then gives them a giant F you, which I'm going to bleep out, but that's the only cuss word. So James McClinton's Pinellas County Sheriff 2024, watch him destroy these government parasites. And with no further Mountain Dew, here we go. My name is James McLinnis, and I'm here to speak about the signed ordinance, of course. Um, I personally, and millions of other people just like me, consider the First Amendment and the United States Constitution to be the most important thing that separates our country from everybody else. Uh, Putin's locking people up right now for po protesting the war. He's got a big mis dis disinformation campaign. If you try and tell the truth, you get put in jail. And a lot of people look at that and they say, that's terrible, that's terrible. But this city council is doing the exact same thing. You're, you're not like the Wizard of Oz, you're not little Lilliputians, little you're little Putins. You have to understand that one of the things that makes this country great is the ability to say what we want to say, when we want to say it, any way we want to say it. And people like you do not have the right to tell us we can't. The Constitution guarantees that. And you worry about how did we, you wonder how you got into this big mess. This big mess started several years ago when people started protesting your police that were overly abusive and heavy handed in what they were doing. And in a lot of ways, very corrupt. And people started monitoring that, following that, videotaping them and seeking public records. When they came to seek public records, you guys all played this Title 10 with Chapter 119, violate their rights by making them pay exorbitant fees for every single record. Every single thing needed to be redacted when it didn't. You withheld records intentionally from these people requesting records. And then, in order for them to enforce the law, Title 10, Chapter 119, they have to sue you. But in order to sue you, they have to prove that you did not give them the records they asked for. And to do that, they needed to videotape asking for the records. So what did you do then? You made it a crime to videotape inside public building. You told people coming to pick up the records that you can't videotape you asking for the records, which is a violation of Title 10, Chapter 119. It's a crime. You can't put a condition on the release of public records, and you did that. And when that wasn't enough, these people got angry and they went out and started protesting. You created the Ian McGuire's and the Andrew Sheets of the world by trying to suppress people's rights. And every time you try and do that, it's going to get worse and worse and worse for you. You are going to be sued many more times than this. You're going to cost all these people hundreds of thousands of dollars by your own arrogance. And your attorney, Levine, he sat before you in these meetings and he lied to you. And he told you that Cohen versus California supported it when any idiot could see that that lawsuit was about what you can say on the radio, not what you can say on a public sidewalk. He led you down that dark path because that's what you wanted to hear. The first thing that you should do to straighten out this mess is fire him because he lied to you. And then after he lied to you, he told you he could support this in court. And then he took all the taxpayers' money to go fight it. And now you're where you are today, and he's still supporting it. You are got, you've gotten bad advice from a bad attorney, and you need to do something about that. But the bottom line is the more you try and squeeze First Amendment, the more it's going to blow up in your face. You don't realize that yet, but what I want to just say, last closing argument, to all of you, and especially to you, Mr. Karski, the I won't back down, f*** you. Well, all right.
Alrighty then. Thanks for watching. Vote for James McClinnis 2024, Pinellas County Sheriff. Bye.